Hola señores y señores, and welcome to episode number 6 of the Corinthian, Corinthians career mode, where we left off, well guys, happy new year, and we, we left off by playing a few league games, and guys, this is the last game before the transfer window, so in this episode we're going to start off the transfer window, I'm going to show you guys the short list, the players that I've scouted and think that are good additions to the team, uh, it, it's, it's, an, it's a decent short list for Corinthians, I believe, but guys, before that we have a game against Sao Paulo and guys this is like a super classical like just a really big game I mean I believe Sao Paulo isn't really isn't doing really well in the league but I mean they still got a, a really good team and well we have to try to prove our worth away from home at their stadium so it's gonna be a tough tough game hopefully we can get a draw or something I just want to get something out of this game. We are in first play with 16 points, and Sao Paulo are in 10th. I didn't get a chance to see how many points they have, but they are in 10th. Well, as, as I told you guys, they're not doing very well, so they might want to push for that win, try to get back in form. We're going to have to just hold on and try to not let them get that win. And then seventh minute, they get a cross here. Two goals, Valdo. Can't get anything on it. Danielson gets the ball, shoots it, but he goes wide off the post. Then we go on, on the attack in the 13th minute. Romaninho crosses it into Emerson. He gets a nice header even though he's really small, but he can't seem to score it. And in the 24th minute, Osvaldo on the ball. He's looking for something, finds Alosio, as I say, crossing it into Ganzo. Heads it, bounces off the post, and, Hans and Casio gets it. They had a really good chance there. Finally, in the 32nd minute, Gantz on the wall again. He's really slow, but he's really going when he passes the ball. To Alosio. He's going to look for something. He's going to push off all my players for some reason. Somehow he gets past everybody, crosses it in, finds Gantz, and they're going to score. I don't know how Alosio got past... Uh, who was that? I think that was like... Guillerme and uh, Hill. Which, uh, Hill has like 80... Four strength, I believe. I don't know how he pushed him, how, how he just like weaved around him and then just got the cross off to Ganso. And then they go 1 0 up in the 35th minute. So, guys, we got to push for that goal or for something. In the 45th minute, nothing else happened in that first half. We try to build an attack, but that's the end of the first half. So we go 1 0 down at the break. Nothing's going on for us, nothing's going right. 54th minute, they go to the attack again. Alosio hits the post. How unlucky for them. But lucky for us because it's still 1-0 down. We still have a chance in this game. 62nd minute. Emerson on the ball. He's going to look for Guillerme. He's going to look to cross it in. No, he's going to look to bring it into the ball. Find Ralph. He's going to take a touch. He's going to go to the right. Take a shot. And he's going to score a wonderful goal from like, what was that? The line of the box? Outside of the box? Somewhere around there. And what a goal that was, Ralph. I think that's his first game of the league. And what a, what a way to score it and what a time to score it at. I mean, yeah, it was outside of the, it was like right on the line, and he tied the game back up in the 65, 65th minute. It was absolutely crazy. We are back in the game, guys. We just, I just want to hold on to the game. That's really all I want to do. In the 85th minute, we get an uh, interception with Romarinho. He's going to run, find Pato. Pato is going to have too many people on. He's going to take a shot from there, takes a shot. And the goalkeeper with a this nice, nice save, but we do get a corner off of that. What can we do on the corner in the 80, like, 6th, 7th minute? Moments. I'm going to have Emerson because he's small. I'm going to take the corner. He's going to look for somebody's head. Find Hill. Nope, can't find Hill. Finds it enough to Augusto, though. He's going to pass it out to Ralph. Right. He's going to take another Nervous, shot. Really. And wow, what a goal from practically the same position, same power, same side scored on as the first goal and Ralph just with two goals in one game I think this is like this is like first time scoring he scores two goals so maybe we gotta play him as striker and what a two goals just absolutely crazy to bring it back in the 89th minute we're winning against Sao Paulo this is crazy guys 90th minute cheese going in our favor this is really good for us in 90th minute we build another attack with Romaninho he goes through takes a shot but can't seem to score it and well guys it didn't really matter because we do win the game 2-1 after a pretty poor first half they were just completely dominating us in the second half we came back we scored two goals that's really good really really good and now guys we are in the transfer window I decided to just skip everything all the way up to the first day and well I just want to read the email that we can now go this is the email that's just saying we can go ahead and buy some players for the team well guys I got no problem in doing that we also got a player conversations of Claudio Maldonado he wants to leave the team um, okay sure 
So I guess we're going to have to let him go. I haven't been playing him much, so I guess it's fair to him, for him to leave if he wanted to leave. So I'm going to go ahead and find him. Uh, I forgot where he was. Yeah, he's like right down here. Maldonado. I'm not really going to use him anyway. He's recently joined the club, so we can't transfer list him, but he wants to leave. So that's kind of an awkward one. We're just going to have to leave him there. Hopefully we can get a transfer offer for him and then just let him go as he would want to go. We're just going to have to leave him there for now. Hope they can't do anything about it. But guys, we're going to go ahead and show you the players we have transfer listed and for season loan. We have Julio Cesar here. Uh, we have five goalkeepers. We don't need Julio Cesar. We're just going to let him go. We have Douglas. I decided to let him go, remember, in the, in the earlier episode. Instead of Danilo. Danilo still playing excellent for me. Danilo Fernandez. He, he actually wanted to go in alone. So I decided, you know what, grant him his wish and let him go on loan. We also have Reynan here, who we uh, loan listed in, at the start of the season. Just because he's young and he can grow a bit. So hopefully you can go ahead and, and go and grow a bit. We also have uh, Chen and Mateos here. Uh, we have Diego Marcelo first off. Uh, he's a player, we're not we're not using him, so I'm going to go ahead and season loan him. I did short lo loan list him, but we're not using him, so we just go ahead and then season loan. We have Chen and Mateos here. Um, I lo loan listed them both, but I'm only going to let go of one. So whoever gets an offer first, I will let that person go. So I would just see that there. Then we have Paulo Victor, who's just not the best of strikers. We're going to go ahead and season on him. Hopefully he comes back better than he was. Maybe like 63, 64. Would be really nice for a player. Now we go to our shortlist, guys. And guys, we were, we were looking for a center back, remember? An extra center back because we only have four. And we were also looking for a center attacking mid slash winger for Emerson's spot because he is old and I don't want an old player in my starting 11. But I, of course I would still use Emerson because he's just absolutely crazy for me. He's been playing so good. Maybe this player will may maybe slowly work his way into Emerson's position. So guys, this shortlist isn't really too long. It, it's, it's a pretty decent sized shortlist and I liked it. So we're going to go ahead and look at it. We have Manuel Lanzini here. As you can see, those physical stats are absolutely insane. Except for his strength, which is pretty disappointing. And his technical stats are decent. So we could go for him. He's a, he looks like a pretty good signing and can go and can do really well on the wing in Emerson's spot. We also have uh, Nicolas Lodeiro here. He's not as fast as or as good in the physical stats as Lanzini, but he's uh, pretty consistent around his stats and maybe we can get him. He's not the most exciting of players. I wasn't really excited when I scouted him, but since I scouted him, I decided just to leave him in the shortlist. We also have our three defenders here, Leandro, Le Leandro Almeida here first. His strength, aggression, and stand tackle are really good. Hopefully we can get him. He's going to be that extra uh, center back that we might need in case somebody gets injured or something. We have Chico also from the same team. Uh, his strength again, I love I love those uh, center backs with strength. They're practically the same player. They're worth the same thing, same age. And around the same stats, not exactly. But the difference is Chico has a face in this game, so I might go for him. Who knows? But the best uh, center back that we have in the shortlist is Guillermo Budicio. As you can see, the strength, again, uh, interceptions and aggression are really nice too. He's the most expensive out of three, but he looks like a really good player, and I might go for him over the... I will go over him over the other two. Finally, we have Fran Medida. I went ahead and scouted him, and his technical stats are insane. His physical, physical stats are alright, but what I really liked is his technical stats. As you can see there, they're practically... All, all the green stats you need are green, and he's not worth that much, so we might go for him. And hopefully he will be a great signing. So first of all, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and buy some players. We're not, we're, we're not gonna buy some players. We're gonna go ahead and try to buy some players. We're gonna go ahead and try Lanzini because I think he's the most exciting one in the, in the shortlist. We're gonna offer. They want 8.3 to 11.7. There's no way I'm offering that much money. I'll go ahead and offer 7 million because I don't want to spend all my money on one player. We don't have the best transfer uh, budget. But I think it's alright for Corinthians, and if we can get Manuel Lanzini for 7 million, I think we can do a lot with that. So 7 million, hopefully say yes to that, even though it's not what they want. We're gonna leave Nicolas Lodeiro there, and we're gonna go for the center back, we're gonna go for Burdicio. See if we can get him. Uh, the deal looks like it could happen, so I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and offer 4.5. I was doubting 4, I was thinking 4, but then it's like 4.5. They should say yes to that, and hopefully they do. I don't want to spend a lot of money on the center back either, because he's not my starting 11 center back. He's going to be a substitute center back, because we need that rotational extra player with Paulo Andre. I want somebody to pair up with Paulo Andre when he comes into the team, because right now I have Clever and Heal, and they're doing excellent for me, and I don't want to trade him out or switch him out.
And that's the players I'm going to go with for it now. We're now we're going to go ahead and advance a little bit, and we're going to get some straight up offers for some players. First of all, Corinthians board wants us uh, to let go of Corinthians or to play him. And guys, I want to let him go, but they wouldn't let me let him go on transfer list. So that's a pretty awkward one. We got a transfer offer for Casio. We're not letting him go, guys. It's as simple as that. He's like, he's a, he is our starting goalkeeper, and he's like a really big icon on the team. So there's no way I'm gonna let him go. He's just gonna stay in this team and hopefully bring us really good saves and not let us concede a lot. And so the Corinthians board wants us to let him go or play him. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can actually transfer list him now because the board wants us to. Uh, he was like down here, right? Yeah, he was down there. Uh, and guys. He still can't leave, so it's kind of an awkward one. As you can see there, he can't leave. So we're going to go ahead and season loan him because I don't want to hear from him anymore. Like, blah, I want to leave, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to hear that, so just season loan him. Hopefully we get an offer for him. That way he can just leave and shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that, but that's what it, that's what Gabby said. Come back, we can get a transfer offer for uh, Pablo Guerrero. It's a hefty offer. It's a really nice offer for him. But guys... He is Guerrero, he is Peruvian just like me, and he's our extra striker that we might need in the season in case Pato gets injured or something, so we're just going to go ahead and reject that offer because I don't want to let him go, not yet at least. He's doing really good for me and well, we need we need those two good strikers with uh, Pato and um, Paolo Guerrero, so we're just going to leave it at that. We come back and we also get the offers for Bordicio, which they want 7.5. It's a lot of money, and there's no way I'm going to spend that much money on a center back, a substitute center back. And at River Plate, they want $11 million. So I guess the two offers we made weren't good enough, and we're just going to have to live with those offers. Look, if we offer $11 million, that leaves us with $3 million in, tr in transfer budget. I mean, that's crazy. That's like no money left to buy another player. So we're not going to go ahead and buy Lanzini. We're going to go to our... Uh, shortlist and we're gonna go ahead and go for other players in the shortlist we're, we're gonna go and remove Lanzini we don't need him anymore and we're gonna remove Burdicio because they want too much money for both of them we're not we don't have that much money we're not gonna offer that much money either so we're gonna go for Chico now I was thinking about which one I should go for and I decided to go for Chico because he has a face and I prefer players with faces and let's see if we can get him they want about 3.3 to 3.8. So I'm going to offer 3, 3.4. I think they'll say yes to that. They, they, they better say yes to that. I'm not offering any more than 3.4. If they offer more, then I'll just go for Landra on Meida. It's as simple as that. I have another player in the shortlist that we can go ahead and buy. That's why I have uh, extra shortlisted players, just in case we ever need anybody else. And I was thinking between Nicolas Loredo and Fran Merida. And I decided to go for Fran Merida because... They're practically the same players in the physical stats, mental stats, but in the technical stats, Fran Melida is the better player. So we're going to go for him, and hopefully we can buy him. And guys, when when I was doing this, I just I was thinking of, like, Fran Melida is like a player like Danilo or Douglas, but that can act, that actually has physical stats. So we're going to go ahead and offer with uh, Douglas here in the transfer offer, because he's worth $2 million and we can go ahead and sell him off and just not pay that, that extra $2 million for the player. And well, with this, uh, Douglas wages goes away and we can use those wages to pay for Fran Medina's wages, which is really nice. So hopefully they say yes to that. $6 million and Douglas, I decided to, I was thinking 6.5. I was really doubting it, guys, because maybe they, they might say yes to 6.5, but I, I actually went on the cheap and finally went for 6, because I still don't want to spend too much money on him. I'll maybe go to 7 million maximum. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. He's a really good player, and I want to bring him in. But we'll see what we do with that. So $6 million and Douglas in, in the end. And hopefully we can get him. Guys, we have reached the end of the episode. Uh, we have started the transfer window. In the next episode, we'll continue the transfer window and, and start a, uh, another game. Because the transfer window is really big, and hopefully you guys enjoy this transfer window. I mean, it is going to take a while. The, episode, the episodes are going to be longer with less gameplay. But hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, transfer window and enjoy the players we are going to bring in. So hope you guys enjoyed it, guys. Drop a like if you did. Leave a comment for any players you want me to bring in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it again. This has been GoGo, and adios.